What's up, guys? Today I'm here with Ben Awad, and uh, we're going to be doing the Pocky One Chip Coding Challenge. So, a little bit of twist on the One Chip Challenge. In this challenge, you have to eat the chip, and then you have to solve a leak code problem before you drink milk. So I'm gonna be eating the chip on my channel, and then Ben is going to be eating the chip on his channel. And I'm supervising your- And he account. already ate the chip. Warning, do not eat if you are sensitive to spicy foods, allergic to peppers, nightshades, or what is that? Capsaicin. Capsaicin, or are pregnant or have any medical conditions. Keep out of reach of children. After touching the chip, wash your hands with soap, and do not touch your eyes or other sensitive areas. Seek medical assistance should you experience difficulty breathing, fainting, or extended nausea. Let me, I'm gonna open the milk. No, no don't prepare the milk, you're, <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be fine. No, I'm just, in case I die. So here's the chip, I'm just gonna eat it right now. Yep, eat the chip. And no drinking. No drinking. Oh, dude, this is so stupid, okay. All right, ready? You just shove the entire thing in your mouth. If you like do two bites, it's gonna be it's gonna be not good. Okay. And then you pick we you pick the uh Yeah, I'll help you afterwards. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, ready? Fucking chip, fucking chip, fucking chip, fucking chip. Dude f You go, 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 go. Yeah, there you go, there you oh go. Oh my god. You're good, you're good, good job. This is so bad. Alright. This is already Yep, just chew for a bit. All right, pick the problem, pick the problem. Are right, you ready, ready? Should I switch over to this camera? Yeah. All right, now pick one. <laughs> I don't want to swallow it. <laughs> That's what I said. That's what I said. Do I swallow it? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, just spit it out. Oh, I swallow. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, I'm about to solve an algorithms and data structures problem while suffering through the heat of 2.2 million Scoville units. But before I do that, I want you guys to go into the description of this video and click the link to sign up for Cloud Happy. Pluralsight is a repeat sponsor of this channel and they reached out because they're currently trying to get people excited about cloud technologies. And if you don't know, being cloud certified is extremely helpful when it comes to advancing your career. Leaders everywhere are on the hunt for cloud skills with 40% of them citing cloud computing as their top skills gap. So a cloud certification shows your expertise and helps you stand out from the others. Now, unfortunately, cloud certification prep is usually pretty expensive, but that's where Pluralsight and A Cloud Guru are going to help you out. From now until December 31st, if you sign up with Cloud Happy, you're going to get a cloud certification course completely free. There are five that you can choose from. The AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, the AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals, Google Cloud Digital Leader, HashiCorp Certified, or Certified Kubernetes Administrator. These are top-notch courses taught by industry leaders, and you have the chance to take them for free. And all you gotta do is go to the link in the description and sign up up to do that and wait there is more out of everybody that signs up through this video i will select 10 of you at random to give one month free membership to plural site skills so when you sign up not only do you get access to a free cloud certification course but now you also get a chance at winning a one month free membership to plural site skills and plural site skills is awesome as well because it's more industry experts teaching a variety of different skill sets so once you've signed up for cloud happy just drop a comment on this video hashtag cloud happy and that will be how i select the 10 winners so click the link in the description go sign up because it's going to help you improve your career. Thank you Pluralsight for sponsoring this video and now let's get back to me versus the one chip coding challenge. All right, so we're doing binary tree search. Give her the root of a... Yep, give it a root. Uh, give her the root of a node. <laughs> give her the root... Give her the root node of a binary tr search tree and two integers low and high. Return the sum of the val value... Value... Of all the nodes, read the that sum are, of the value the range. <laughs> read it, read it. Okay, okay. Given the root node of a binary search tree and two integers low and high, return the sum of values of all nodes with a value in the inclusive range read it low again. and high. Basically, I'm gonna break it down really easy for you. Oh my You're god! Just gonna iterate the binary tree. <laughs> This is really bad. I told you it was pretty bad, right? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna iterate a binary tree. Do you know how to go? Do you know how to loop a binary tree? Are you a recursive guy? Yeah. Your recursion? 
All right, do some recursion on the binary tree. Root there. Oh, make sure you're inside. In make it get inside. A separate you. recursion you method. Okay, you're, okay, you're actually thinking. That's good. Okay. You could also maybe yeah yeah. Recursion, taking a tree node. All right, all right. You could probably do it all inside the other one, but yeah. Yep. Yeah. Node dot left and node dot right. This is crazy. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, we're summing. We're summing it. So you're gonna maybe do uh. Yeah. Just tell me what to write. Do you check if the value is between low and high. So like root, and if it's between the low yeah. so, and between the high, uh, the value. Val? Yep, it's called Val. Now he helped me too when I was doing mine too. It's actually, you actually literally can't think when it, you got the pepper in your brain. Oh yeah, less than high. Yep, less than high. Uh, oh what, no, man. It's bad, right? I you need a tissue. It. All right, it's inclusive, Nick. It's bad. You can do it. You're doing great. <laughs> okay, greater than low. Yep, yep. What are you doing? You're recursing down. And equal. Yeah, you're getting the sum of what? You're just you're just adding it if it's in the range. In the range. Otherwise, return zero. Got it. Okay, yeah. so I'm returning like a result integer. Yes. I think I've done this multiple times. So I just don't remember. Well, actually, you should start with the base case. Maybe if root if if roots. Null I probably don't need this recursion method. Oh yeah, you could do a for loop maybe. No, I can recursively do it. Oh, sure. Uh, I just don't need, don't need to modularize, remember? I'm pretty sure we got to recurse. No, I'm saying I don't need to a separate function, probably. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can do it within. You can do it within. So then I do maybe like result plus equal? All right, so if it's within the range. Range sub. Yep, and you're doing, you're doing this. Good. Uh, it's inclusive as well. High and low inclusive. I actually think you're doing pretty well. Oh, it's getting better. <sighs> yeah, you're, you're doing better now. I actually think you're solving it faster than me. Okay, so we add? Yep, you add. And then make sure you might not need a base it, case. The base case is zero, right? You know, might need base case and also make sure you uh, it's inclusive. Wait, no, no, no. If node, maybe? I, I need some conditions. Yeah. Then I do this. Yeah, then you recurse. Oh, that is better. Oh my god, that was really bad. Yeah. It's getting a lot better. Oh my god. All right, looking good. And make sure it's inclusive. Uh, like you want to do, make sure, like, because right now value is uh, equal to high. Um, should I just do this as a, I might have to do this as public. Um, oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Oh, that's hilarious. Because it'll reset it. Yeah. Um, all right. What about this? Yeah. So this adds all the values of the tree, right? Yep. Is yep. that in the range? In the range. This should be good. Uh, there's just like a small problem with it, possibly. I'm yeah, at... I've done this a million times, it looks like. Cannot find symbol node. Oh, root. Jesus. You did randomize for this problem? Yeah. That is totally wrong. Uh, right now you're not inclusive. So it's- uh, I'm sure less you... than high and greater than low. And you include high and low though, if it's equal to high and low. Oh. If value is equal to high right now, you're not including any equal. My output's too big though. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. I didn't actually think about whether we're doing it right either. So I might have to use my brain if this doesn't work. Oh yeah, I put the equal sign on the other <laughs> side. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better, but it's it's still really bad. Like I couldn't yeah. talk, dude. Yeah, now you can like kind of code it. What's my face still suffering. Like? Oh my god. Yeah. All right, you're too high. Uh. Sure. Inclusive. Input seven. Am I adding? What? It looks like I'm multiplying or some shit. What? Yeah, I'm not sure what you're doing wrong. Left root, left cycle, and all. Am I doing too many? Oh, root dot left twice. Oh, that'll do it. Do you get this fast? Still right. Less, but not right. Still. Right null. I'm root. so confused. Zero. If root. I think we we're like double counting, probably or something. Yeah. Why? It starts at root, goes left and right, and recurses. The value is greater. You add it to the result. Maybe it's something to do with the global variable is wrong. Ted 5, 15, 3, 7, lowest 7, highest 15. So you add it if it's in between that range. 
Yeah. This is right. Just print root dot value. What is wrong with this? Oh, I'll just do this. Standard out 10, 7, 15. Uh, How is it adding the 201 though? I think it's like running it multiple times or something. It's recursing too much. What am I returning? No, no, no. It's, since it's only printing it. The base case returns usually. So I need a base case to return. Or something, right? Uh, maybe you can do a base case. If but root. kind of covered it, I think. No, I have to do this. Wait. Because you're checking the base at the bottom. You kind of like can do it already, I think. Yeah, you can do that too. That might be what I need. Oh, yeah, that's actually. Oh, you know what? We're returning result. Oh, dude, I know it's wrong. I know it's wrong. Return result here at the top? Here. Uh, so we're adding. So you we're returning the result every single oh, time. Oh, it keeps getting added. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. We kind of did it weird with a global variable thing. Maybe I return. Okay. Okay, here. Do it like this. Do it like this. You Here's the thing that's messing you up is you made this global. Yeah. Put it, put it inside here. It might work if it's inside. At this point. We're... This is looking lame now. But I'm not done yet. No, nah, keep going. You have you actually have four more minutes to match me. Yep, try to try it out. Just run that. I'm just curious if that works. No. Oh, oh yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Okay. yeah, there you go, there you go. Milk, okay. milk, milk, milk. All right, I'm gonna go, guys. All right, see you, Cole. See ya. Okay, that was the one chip coding challenge. Good job. I haven't done lead code in a really long time, and I don't, I don't think you do lead code no. that much either. So we both didn't do very well. I would like to see other programmers that take this challenge more seriously. If you're like more technically inclined, that still hurts to talk really also, badly. Also, just so you know, we both passed. That's pretty good, if you ask me. We beat the challenge. Yeah. There should be a time limit. So let's just say like 20, 30 minutes. I, yeah, I think you beat it before me. To be fair, you had an easier problem. Let's do 20. You have to oh. solve it in 20 minutes. But you have to solve the problem before you drink milk. If you want to go harder than us, we did easy problems, but maybe do medium or hard. My stomach really hurts though. So I'm going to end the video. I'm going to link Ben's channel in the description. Go check that out. He eats the chip on his channel. And thank you guys for watching. And uh, leave a like, comment your thoughts. See you in the next video. Peace. Peace. Is that good? Yeah.